Okay, boys and girls. Today, uh, the plan is, uh, so I got my liquid line in yesterday, which goes up into the liquid line solenoid. Got the sight glass, and the liquid line is going to split up, feed all three TXVs. So I'm going to put my, uh, my next TXV in. My third TXV is coming in tomorrow, so. Uh, Got to do um, the discharge line, hot gas bypass. It dumps right in the suction, 10 seconds on startup. So I guess that's probably to prevent a, a flooded startup. It only runs, opens up for 10 seconds um, through this um, bypass timer. So that solenoid was leaking refrigerant before, so I'm going to pipe it from point A to point B. And um, I guess it also serves a soft start. Uh, and that's it really. So it's going to take a while to do that. I got to drag all my tools on the boat. So. We're gonna get started. All right, so I putty it up just like it shows in the picture. So no, no damaged TXVs. All right, I'm gonna braise that up and continue on. I am flowing nitrogen. Alrighty, I got my second TXV in. Um, so, let me clean off the camera, it's a little dirty. Um, I got the TXV mounted vertically again. It wasn't gonna fit here. So, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but 
um, on Google said so Google says you can mount it vertically as long as the sensing capillary is up. So well, we'll see what happens. I can get it here horizontally. Um, I can't get it in here because there's flare nuts on all three of them. So and eh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna measure my compressor superheat once I'm on startup. But right now the plan is getting this discharge solenoid piped into the suction line. So I'm gonna put a little access access T so you can charge the system um, when it's running through the suction because the suction service valve is way back there and you don't want to have to put a gauge back there so put one here okay so I got my um, discharge line bypass solenoid in um, so that's all set uh, so tomorrow I'm going to put in that last TXV. Um, uh, right now I'm going to change the contactor and the circuit breaker. And um, I think that'll be it for today. Hopefully tomorrow I can pipe that in, put a pressure test on it. And uh, hopefully all this old rust doesn't leak so I know that the system had a leak on that solenoid so that's brand new um, and may have been leaked somewhere else but as I've been working on it I haven't really seen any oil around I've seen some oil here but I think that was because maybe some refrigerant vapor made its way down onto that because it would for sure there was a leak there so yeah it's looking pretty good all right I got a new contactor um, tugged on all the wires make sure they're all tight um, I put a new circuit breaker in and tomorrow I'm gonna tie in my compressor wire and um, put in my last TXV that's just another boat I think or the boats listing um, uh, tomorrow I'll put it put in my last last TXV pressure test it um, I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of work to do tomorrow so that I I don't get impatient with my pressure test or my vacuum. So um, sometimes when you have nothing to do but that, um, you might get impatient. So I don't want to do that. So um, I got a little bit of armor flex to do here, and uh, I'm gonna put a Unistruct clamp over there and right there, and uh, we'll pretty much be all set. Hopefully this thing takes off and and we don't have any problems, so we'll see. I'm gonna do a thorough startup. Anyways, so this is um a ten horsepower compressor, so I got three valves that go from five and a half to three and a quarter tons, so three, six, nine, hmm, just under these things will throttle down just under ten tons. So, which, they're trying to get to 38 degree water, so, probably gonna convince them to try to run a little lower, a little bit lower head pressure, so they'll see if they can maintain around 200. Um, these are five ton barrels, so, um, with these chiller barrels, you can be, over, you could be oversized by a bit, but not undersized. So, um, it's just a titanium helical coil inside, so, we'll see, maybe I'll close these expansion valves, a quarter, quarter turn, all of them, maybe, maybe not, we'll see how it runs, I just want, 
a minimum of a 20 degree superheat on this at the compressor so so we'll see what happens